fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. Yo, man, Sean Roy is old. back at it again, man, with the best that segment, you know. Um, stardom, sit-ums, um, I feel like this week, um, if you have Kyler Murray on your fantasy team, start him and watch the show unfold. It will be a treat. I'm going to love every second of it. He's playing against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, <laughs> as you can see, the last few weeks, uh, offenses has, um, you know, kind of had their way. Um, they haven't resulted in winning efforts. So, <laughs> dare I say, they have not had their way because I believe the goal and objective is to win. <laughs> and if you have seen Kyler Murray the last two games, I think he is accounting for, I believe, nine to ten touchdowns. Can we say top three in the MVP race right now? But anyway, uh, that's a definite stardom. Uh, you definitely want to start Stefan Diggs. Um, I believe he is going up against – yo, he got him with him. Oh, that's cute. Yes, um, sir. Yeah, right. Um, I actually <laughs> got him in my other fantasy league, so I feel you. I need him to get out. I do. But uh, I think he's going up against uh, – they're going up against Atlanta this week. He's going up against the Washington football team. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. Uh, expect him to have a great game. Um, that Washington football team has been a disappointment on defense. They were really projected to be better than what they showed. And uh, Ron Rivera hasn't proved to really make any – major adjustments or improvements to it. So look for Diggs to have a great day. And I think it's really cheap for me to say Christian McCaffrey, even though he's playing against the hometown team, Houston Texans. But, I mean, if you got him, I mean, obviously, I think he's going to start in every league. But um, I think the sleeper pick that people may not be too aware of, um, if you want to go ahead and start gather my notes here. We got my notes. I only want Coach to respond to this, by the way. We're not saying shit. Coach, you taking all of this. Please do. Pause. 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 <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this dude is in this rare form. Literally. Thank you, Darnell. My boy. Thank you, James. <laughs> uh, I think uh I think the sleeper pick uh to go ahead and start for us. Is definitely going to be, and I don't know if it's a sleeper anymore, uh, but I'm going to say, uh, Tony Pollard. No, sorry, Tony McLaughlin, uh, Terry, uh, Tory, Terry McLaughlin, Terry McLaughlin for the uh, Washington Redskins. Though he's going up against the Buffalo Terry defense. Uh, Terry, huh? Terry McLaurin is his name. Terry yeah. McLaurin. I said McLaughlin. Where am I getting McLaughlin? McLaughlin. 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 But now, nah, um, look for him to have a huge game on the outside. Though, um, I feel like Buffalo's defense, they'll, they'll probably double him. He's still going to get targeted anyway. Um, I don't think Logan Thomas is going to be too much a factor. They're going to try to shut down the middle of the field. Um, I'm looking for uh, – Terry McLaurin to have a good game. Sleeping pick. But I don't know if he's a sleeper anymore, man. He balled out his rookie year last year. So they, they really leaning on him in this uh, abysmal Washington football team offense. So you got your starters. You got your sleepers. Um, hey, man, bet that. Caution. Uh, I know. Hill, because I believe a, a pick I gave to my young brother on this podcast didn't pan out so well. <laughs> The young man ended up getting injured. Uh, Elijah Mitchell take back <laughs> with the fakeness. Um, yeah, man. Oh, I think uh, <laughs> I think Bruce said the best on Bruce Almighty, man. Sometimes that's how the cookie crumble, man. Um, yeah. no, I, should, I should be good. Like you said, I got Kyler Murray as my quarterback. So he hadn't, he hadn't left my starting lineup since we started fantasy. <laughs> Don't you know way in on this shit, man? Ah. Uh, well, your team. I'll, I'll I'll weigh on it ind indirectly uh, when I when I talk about uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, hey Isaac, uh, I, I know it's not playing, but if there's like one player that you would like bench, there's like one player come to the, come off the top to your head, like to bench. Um, uh, if I 
if I were to bench anybody this week, it probably would be uh, I think a I think a good bench in this week uh would be I'm gonna say I'm gonna go to my team on my fantasy man. <laughs> I, I damn this should I should have been the whole fucking team. Let Bitch, me Josh Allen. <laughs> ah, yeah, right. That guy. Um, a guy who I thought was gonna get a lot of targets, um, kind of disappointed me uh, last week or uh, this past week, whatever. And that was Antonio Brown. Um, probably want to bench him this upcoming week. Uh, I don't look for him to be a vocal point in the team this week, but the way Brady been switching it up, man. Um, he, he could, he could be, but it was a, it was a big hit or miss for him, uh, to say the least. He wasn't really targeted that much in the game plan this past week against the Falcons, but uh, I probably bench him for week three as well. Well, don't you got Gronk? I do have Gronk. Yeah, no, start Gronk for the uh, rest of the year. Gronk is definitely <laughs> whoever you are. Oh uh, yeah, I got Gronk. <laughs> whoever you are, whoever you are. Kill him, but but Derrick Henry go for fifty fucking don't points. Take bro. Gronk out. I can't do nothing with that. He scored three touchdowns and had like what over a hundred thirty yards rushing. He went out, bro. Like, can't I know the other nigga is good, bro. He producing right now. Yeah, no, nah, Isaac had it quoted. Uh, Gronk will ball out. Uh, I guess you could probably cancel that in for the rest of the year. So that should say. Yeah, please, please. <laughs> Please. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, make sure y'all get in the comments or hit us uh, up on social media if you take Sean Hart Izzo's uh fantasy advice. And if you win, make sure you uh, share a little of those proceeds with my guy. Uh, but yeah, with all man. of us, shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll find your own segment, my brother. Trying to get some mics, baby. Man, we can't flip the shit. Try to get away, <laughs> But now, uh, speak, speaking of betting, though, so uh, real quick, uh, whoever that guy is who had made the uh ten game parlay, bet twenty five, twenty five dollars, and he was going to clear over seven hundred thousand if the Lions would have beat the Green Bay Packers. Um. And obviously that did not happen. Um, so uh yeah, man. Um it was only twenty five dollars though. Yeah. <laughs> right. Man, I'm sick about that every night of my life. Because <laughs> it's like I needed one thing to change my family life. Right. <laughs> Forever. That's what God <laughs> brought me. Aaron Rodgers, yeah, that, that, that make, that's the type of shit make you hate that team forever. <laughs> Bro, forever. 